G'day Ziggy D here and welcome back for Monday Musings, the show where I like to ramble for 5 to 15 minutes and occasionally, just occasionally, you guys get something out of it. Now it has been quite a long time since my last Monday Musings, sorry guys, I really love doing this series but uh, I always, I always just let it fall to the wayside. I'm going to endeavour to do my best to make it a regular thing moving forwards. But that is not my New Year's resolution and that is what my video is going to be about though. New Year's resolutions. Now let's first take a look at last year. A few of you guys have been asking about my last year's resolutions. I learned some valuable lessons from it. Last year I resolved to formulate 12 new positive habits, one per month, or to break 12 old uh, negative habits essentially. So to create or change one habit each month. And uh, I got some pretty good things out of that. I started doing a bit more exercise. I, you know, I stopped doing my nails for quite a good while there. That was one of, one of my resolutions there, one of my new habits. But uh, I learned that it takes a lot longer than a month to really consolidate a habit, to really get in the habit of doing something or to break the habit of not doing something. And it was going fine when I was just working on one or two habits, but once I started to add three or four, once I started to add more into there, the other habits started to fall apart. So. I learned a pretty valuable lesson, at least for myself, about formulating or breaking habits in that it is something that you need to focus on fewer of at a time and work on them for a much longer period of time to really make sure that they stick. So based on what I learned from last year's New Year's resolution, I have formulated this year's New Year's resolution, which is essentially one long year long habit, something I'm going to do every day for the next 365 days, well a little bit less now. And uh, that is going to be to improve my baseline as a person. I've been trying to think of a way of wording this, and I still haven't really got a good way of wording this. It's basically, uh, in my mind, it's like a year of absolutely killing it. You know, <laughs> being a better person each day, you know, than my average, improving my average, something like that. So I'll probably have to explain exactly how this works for you guys to get what the hell I'm talking about. The idea is that each day I strive to do one better thing, even if it's only a very small thing, it could literally be lifting weights once, if it's better than my average. The idea is that I want to exceed myself, I want to go over and beyond what I do on the average day. This kind of stems from the fact that I never really want to just roll out of bed and put on a live stream, or just roll out of bed and just make the bare minimum video I have to make to survive. I don't want to just do the bare minimum basically, I want to be always trying to, you know, always uh, impressing people with, you know, the things I do, or always impressing myself with the new things that I've achieved, or the ways in which I've grown. So the habit I'm trying to formulate this year is exactly that. Trying to always be looking for opportunities to one-up myself, to improve my baseline. Now, goals, I think, and formulating habits and stuff like that, I think a lot of this stuff you really need to um, have clear set, a clear set way of measuring these sorts of things for them to be successful. Maybe not for everybody, but for me, I find that works quite well. So what I'm actually doing is I'm keeping a spreadsheet with 365 days listed in it, and it's just a simple, just three columns, it'll have the day, it'll have, did I, you know, go above and beyond, did I outdo myself on that day, and it'll be simple, yes or no, and then afterwards I'll just write a couple words on exactly how I did that, or why I didn't, and what I could do in the future to improve that. Now the idea is that if it's getting to like 11.59pm, the day's not a write-off, you still have an opportunity to go above and beyond, to do something extra for yourself. It could literally just be, shit, I got like one minute left in the day, all right, let's get down and do some push-ups. Do like two push-ups and run out of time. It's fine, I did something extra. I talked about this a bit in the past. Sometimes it was just the little things, if you keep doing them each day, even if it's literally taking like a one minute walk or doing one push-up, if you get in the habit of doing these things, then it starts to get easier and easier to do more. That Getting down and doing that first push-up is the hardest thing. Get, you know, adding an extra push up to that the next day becomes a little bit easier and you start to formulate these habits. Now when I was talking about kind of like, you know, theory crafting my, uh, my, my new year's resolution for this year, Amy asked me, isn't it going to get harder each day? Like, you know, aren't you just going to have to do one more of what you did to, in order to go above and beyond to exceed yourself essentially? And I said, yeah, that's actually the point. <laughs> is what you're doing each day is you're setting a new baseline and the baseline moves up even if it's only ever so incrementally, 
the baseline for you as a person is moving up. So this is kind of what I want to do. It's a bit of a bit of an experiment. I don't know if it'll work, just like I didn't know if the 12 months of 12 new habits thing would last work last year, and it didn't exactly, but I learned some valuable lessons from it. And uh, I expect even if this doesn't work, I'll learn some valuable lessons from it. I've already started recording my days. I already had one day where I wrote a no in there because I literally kind of just didn't think about it. I didn't, I felt like I got to, to the next day and I thought I didn't do anything above and beyond what I could do with the minimum. I didn't feel like I exceeded myself. So I put a no there. But it doesn't have to be a super negative thing though. Writing a big no is like, you know, pretty negative. But me personally, I'm using that to fuel myself moving forward. It's like seeing that one thing there and then writing what I could do better uh, in that sort of like explanation slot is is going to motivate me further and eventually I feel like I'm going to be able to look back and see these streaks of you know these days I've highlighted in green as have having exceeded myself in some small way and it'll be this kind of snowball effect that's what I'm hoping where it snowballs and snowballs and you know if it's only just doing a little bit of weights at the start of the year now maybe I'll be doing weights every day at the end of the year maybe I'll be practicing guitar at every day at the end of the year maybe I'll be going out of my way to help someone who's messaged me or commented on one of my videos every single day and it'll it'll sort of uh, it'll sort of hopefully instill in me this habit to look for opportunities to exceed myself. So guys, hopefully something interesting comes of this. I think something interesting always comes of trying these things. And uh, I know some people find the whole New Year's resolution or even New Year's Eve and all that to be a little bit silly, but it's uh, it's an excuse, right? It's an excuse to do something for ourselves or for other people. And uh, yeah, we often don't need an excuse and I'll do some other things, you know, throughout the year for myself or for other people without needing that excuse. But it's, a, it's still an opportunity to get, give yourself a bit of a fresh start feeling and to work on something new, to take on a, a big sort of personal, uh, personal uh, improvement project. So it may be a little bit silly, but if something positive comes out of it or if we learn some interesting lessons from it, then it doesn't really matter what, you know, what the reasoning behind it was. It's kind of irrelevant in the end. So guys, let me know what you think. Hopefully you guys found this interesting and I'll, I'll try and keep you guys updated as well on how it's going. If you are watching my live stream or anything like that and want to see how it's going and check in whether I have been keeping track of these things on the spreadsheet, then hit me up and I'll I'll show you guys. I'll you know I'll keep it I'll keep it open and honest. And uh, if, even if I fail, even if I stop recording and everything like that, I'll still talk to you guys and say why I thought that was and what I learned from it. Because surely there'll be something interesting there. But uh, if you guys have any other New Year's resolutions you guys are working on, something for yourself, do share them in the comments below. I always find it interesting. I did ask on live stream the other day and got some really interesting responses from people and what they were working on for the new year. So let me know down there. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching. And guys, I'm going to do my best to make a Monday Musings next week. If I don't, don't let me hear the end of it, okay? Get on Facebook, get on Twitter, harass the crap out of me until I do it. Don't let me let me, don't let me let you guys down. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.